situation. Yes. Let's. If you are shopping for clothing, what do we need to know? Okay, I online shop a lot. Okay. I absolutely, without a doubt, no comparison, shop online more than I do in store. With those super duper long legs. Well, yeah, because actually... And things fit you. Yeah, because online they offer tall women they are alternative sizes. Some stores that don't carry petite or plus or tall in their store, their right. brick and mortar store, offer them online. Okay. So that probably Good. is Good. that I order a lot of that stuff online. But yeah, yes. that's probably what probably got me into it early, you know? Yes. But now I just like shopping with a glass of wine in my jammies. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That's There's really convenient. There's something to be said for that. There sure is. But you have to still know, you can't be lazy when it comes to knowing what you're spending and how how much, certainly how much you're spending. Yeah. But it can be easy just go click, 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 send, and then it arrives, and then you keep it. But it's still something you need to know prices. I still peruse the stores. Okay. I still go through them from time to time to stay on top. A, you can see them uh, merchandise in ways that are absolutely beautiful that, oh, that's an outfit I didn't think of. Right. For inspiration or see things, the quality of the stuff, if it's declining or, or, or getting better or whatever, depending on the store. Mm -hmm. So I still go in. I just generally end up going home and buying it online okay. but here's what you have to know and this is really important tip some retailers and I am not saying all retailers do that so you really have to hear me say that yeah some retailers are a little tricky with their pricing okay and what they do is they will bump up the price of the sweater let's yep. say online mm -hmm. it will be cheaper in the store mm-hmm so right away that's dirty business in mm -hmm. my opinion and this is a fact I've witnessed it and experienced it a bunch of times yeah. then You'll get like a you know forty percent off sale. You're like whoop whoop forty percent off. I got to order right. through every color of this sweater. But if it's already marked up by twenty percent, yeah, then you're then it would be in the store. Then you're only getting really a twenty percent off what the original price would be in the store. It's a Did that make shady. sense? It's a little it's shady. It's a little shady. So yeah. I like to know what stores and re what retailers do that. I kind of have a bit of a list, and so I know that I don't accept a twenty five percent discount on their websites. Okay. It needs to be forty, and you're going to make me happier if I'm getting an additional ten down to fifty, because then I'm actually getting the deal. I'm think you know that I'm you a deal hunter. Yeah. yeah. I don't like paying full price like ever. Yes. And <laughs> one of the ways to <laughs> ever I would say full prices like for some. You. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, it's part of the game, really. It's probably my competitive <laughs> side comes out. But here's a tip that I really that might indicate what they that they may be doing that. And I really want to stress this isn't a hundred percent. It's just something. See how this tag doesn't have a price on it? Yeah. That got mailed to me with no price. Okay. Not saying it's a hundred percent. There's reasons why they might not have the price on it. But there are retailers that will send unpriced items to you because they don't want you to see what it was in the brick and mortar. Oh, they I want see. you to send it to you with no price on it and hope so that you won't decide. go in there. Yeah. So if you order something online and you get a tag without a price, mm -hmm. go into that shop and see if it's what you paid for it. If regular price is regular price. If it yeah. is, then great. You know they're honest retailers and they're just that's the way they're handling their inventory. Right. But if they're not, then you're tipped then off you know. and you can choose wisely whether or not a you want to shop at a store like that and b what kind of discount you need to have yes. to make it into your comfort zone. Does so since sense? we're talking about the cost of convenience, I want people to note that you actually still go into the store because a lot of people are cut like I'm cutting out the store and just going online shopping which means I'm doing it somewhat irresponsibly if I really want to make sure I'm getting a deal or I'm getting the right fabric and the right feel yeah you still are going out to the stores to look at the merchandise and check on it so yeah that's a good thing to know yeah I still do like the, yeah. those brick and mortar stores are still really really important yes. for that yeah and you know you might have a favorite favorite brand that you've been buying for a while and suddenly and you're you starting to get delivery and you're like this stuff's not very good the quality's anymore. gone down yeah yeah so you go and you can keep but keep a handle on that you know let's talk about food because okay. it comes up a lot it comes up a lot mm -hmm. and really it's on-demand food so it's yeah. the food delivery services that I wanted to talk about yes is it really you have to know here look you know you go doop, 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 doop. yes send that to me but really look at what all the charges are I've looked at the charges because they're astronomical yeah I don't know why I continue to do it yeah like it's a real it's a lot of money you choose it's the cost of convenience yeah right? but just know what you're what you're doing so this is a real true life me I went to order this yeah I did a screenshot of it because I was like this is bananas there's no way I'm going to order this yes um, and then we decided to talk about this in the show and I was like oh I've got the best thing to show okay <laughs> so this was my order True, true, true to life. Okay, so uh, I had like a you know a couple of samosas, some butter chicken roadies. Oh my God, they're so good. Mm -hmm. um, and so mm -hmm. my total for the food thirty five eighty three. Okay. okay, but uh, 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 we're not done yet. We have a service fee okay. of five dollars thirty seven cents. Right. I looked into what that meant. 
I don't know. Don't know. It says fee for service. Yeah, thanks for that. <laughs> and then, and then, of course, we have a de delivery fee. Ouch. Okay, of twelve ninety nine, and that little arrow right there oh means surge pricing. So it's busy, at, busier than usual. So they're going to charge you more. Yes. Okay. Thirteen dollars for the delivery. Right. Then you'd think a service fee and a delivery fee would also include the tip. Not, not, not. Nah. And they're saying the tip for you. Then the tip, there was an option to be fair, you could put you could manipulate the to a the 10, 15, 20 percent, yeah, whatever. Yeah. Um, so then you but you have to tip. I mean, these people are working hard. These tip. other these other service things aren't going to them. So we're tipping them for their service. Of course, we have taxes, which brings my 35, that's a bad arrow, 83 to $66.61. Double. I mean, is du that it's bananas? Double. It is, it is. And right. I, I like I smack myself every time I do it. But it's not always that. It's not always It's always, often always. that. It's often that. It's often so that. So I quickly left that app and pulled out a frozen pizza. You yeah. know? Because I was like, that's <laughs> clearly not happening. Right. So now let's go on and let's talk about the convenience of transit. Yeah, let's do that because that's another one where we sort of, you know, we would like to do the ride shares. Yeah. Which we're talking about like the Ubers and the Lyfts. Ubers and Lyfts, things like that. So yeah. I compared the prices of transit, the ride share, and parking. Clearly, okay. parking is going to be the most convenient of them all. I know right. that. It's 20, and I used all my references and my numbers here. Mm -hmm. So to park across the street is $22 a day here at the studio. Yeah. That's $110 for a five-day work week. Brutal. Four weeks a month, we're dealing $440 a month. That's yep. like a car payment, yep. just for the parking, not yep. for the car. In one year, $5,280. Ouch. Parking. That's a vacation. Like, that's a vacation for a family, it even. Is. Like, that's a lot of money. So, I'm not trying to guilt you if you drive, and a lot of people have a lot of reasons why they have to drive yeah. to work. It's big city living, and it's unfortunate. Yeah. But, yeah. Um, and so, just know again what you're spending. So, again, ride share. Yeah. For me, from where I'm coming from, it's $8 each way when I take it. So, $16 okay. round trip, $80 a week mm -hmm. for a work week, $320 a month. So, we're yeah. saving money there. And then we're dropping down to $3,800. But better we're still dealing with vacation money here or like new we wardrobe are, money you know but you're also getting stuff done because someone else is driving you can Hopefully. you can do emails and yeah okay yeah, i'm gonna give you that that's yeah, a good point you can do a few things and then last but not least transit this isn't going to be a surprise a round trip here 650 for a round trip 3250 a week four mm -hmm. weeks in a month 130 but if you did it you buy a monthly pass yes you know yep. which might save you some money yeah so a year fifteen hundred dollars in a year so, so look better. at the massive difference between those two huge so it's again we're not about guilting you here yeah. it's just about make smart choices run the numbers maybe drive less right drive less you can still drive sometimes thank you Shona You're so welcome. good